Look at these beautiful homes, painted in a beautiful array of colours. Have you ever wondered what goes into a can of paint? Well, let me share with you that in a can of paint, it consists of many different components. So where does all these components come from? Well, these components are developed through a series of different chemical processes. Not only are paints produced through chemical processes, in fact, many products you use daily are created in a similar manner too. If you trace back the original source of these components, we will eventually link it back to crude oil. In the study of chemical engineering, we explore different technologies to produce these important components that make our daily product. Hence, we are one of the most versatile and important disciplines in the chemical industry. Let us take you through a journey on what we learned in a diploma in chemical engineering in SP. Come on, let's go! Well, before we begin, let me share with you that in the study of chemical engineering, we look into processes that convert low-value materials into useful products. Yeah, we into the big stuff. Well, before anything can go large-scale, it needs to start in the laboratory. In the film hood, we carry out distillation using flask, a fractionating column, and a condenser to separate a mixture into the respective components. Whereas on a large scale, we make use of a multi-stage distillation column such as this. Check out what happens inside the column through the side glass. To be able to work with large-scale processes and to be competent, we are trained with a rigorous curriculum that is recognised by both the industry and tertiary institutions worldwide. Not forgetting, we are the first diploma in Singapore to adopt the CDIO framework from the renowned MIT University and also the first diploma to be accredited by the Institution of Chemical Engineers, UK. Yes, speaking of which, the relevance to industry is so evident through the use of pilot plants in the engaging practical sessions which we enjoy so much. In SP, we are trained in the state-of-the-art Energy and Chemicals Training Centre. We have opportunities to take part in activities such as distillation on a pilot plant scale and apply our knowledge in the readings of process and instrumentation diagrams. Furthermore, we are also introduced to the fermentation process using bioreactors, which are commonly found in the biopharmaceutical industry. We get to experience how to troubleshoot when there is a process upset by analysing trends and monitoring process parameters. As part of the troubleshooting process, we also simulate communication between the field and remote control area, thus giving us the realistic feeling of working on an actual plant. In addition, we go a step further to design processes and run simulations to gain a better understanding of it. That's not all. Through inquiry-based learning, we conceive new ideas and implement them via the chemical product development modules. We gain insights on the process to transform low-value products into useful and value-added products. This inspires us to always push the frontier of science improve and create a sustainable future. With a solid foundation in SP, we are ready to take on the workforce. As we graduate, there are several work opportunities in various sectors such as specialty chemicals, oil and gas, pharmaceutical, biopharmaceutical, environmental as well as engineering and design. This myriad of sectors offer jobs like assistant researcher, process technician, health, safety and environment specialist or assistant application engineer. Our career progressions in the chemical industry allow us to head towards leadership roles in supervisory and management positions or pursue further studies to deepen our knowledge and skills to help benefit the environment and society at large. So what are you waiting for? Be part of the exciting journey of DCHE now!